So apparently my buddy's trailer uh, <laughs> is not good for 20 foot lumber. <laughs> Man, I was going like five down the highway with this thing and it was bouncing. So I got it rigged in there uh, with some rope, obviously, to keep it from sliding backwards off the trailer. Then I put one of these concrete deck footings underneath it to raise it up a little bit so that it wouldn't be dragging the ground. And then on this side, I, I don't know where the rest of my rope went. I've been using it and cutting it up as I go. So I had some 550 cord so that it wouldn't move back and forth. And then also so it wouldn't fly up. And we got it on there. We, me, I was, I'm by myself. I'm borrowing my buddy's trailer, but I am, it's all me out here. So that's about, Man, those 20 foot boards, so I know, I know. I could have done two 10 by 12 boxes, put them together for my subfloor. It would have been much easier and probably cheaper because two by 10 by 10 foot. How many pieces? Six, I'll have to price that out, but these boards at the local, the 20 foot boards were 50 bucks a piece. So pricing all that out, that's that's 150 there. Then I have um, six treated four by fours, four, uh, and those are eight feet long. I have four treated six by sixes, and those are eight feet long. And then I have eight deck footings to, I may use those, I may use them for something else. And then the two by 10 by, 12 for the 12. I have no power out here, no generator, so I'm either going to be hand sawing on this stuff or cutting it with a chainsaw. What do you think? Oh man, how am I going to get this up there? Alright, I got a plan. <laughs> carried some of the boards up here. I'm gonna go back and get the rest by hand. Um, to drag these, I just kind of rigged up something that was kind of like a logger's hitch with a bunch of other crap on it, and then lifted it up just to get the front off the ground so it wouldn't catch on anything. And then drag it up here. I'm gonna walk the other stuff all the way up. Uh, and set it over here, kind of lay some things out, even though the boards haven't been cut, even though the ground's not level, just to get a sense of proportions, and then we'll be back. Yeah, and I know I could do this and drag all the other boards up here too, but think of this as penance for buying lumber from the hardware store and not hewing it myself. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a second. And just in case you thought I wasn't really carrying it at all, nope, I'm stupid. This is about halfway. Ugh. You can see the boards in the truck are still up there. I promise this is not staged. I'm just dumb. All right, let's get the rest of the way up there. All right, got all my lumber stacked up here. Got a tarp out. I'm gonna do a quick deploy ridge line to get this uh, stuff covered.
This is my bag of tent stakes and guy rope. So I'm actually gonna use these little guy lines like this to stake it out. about I don't know 10 minutes actually it's probably faster than 10 minutes I don't know I'll check the tape and see what it was but not long at all if my quick deploys had quick deployed it would have been faster but um do we want to do we want to it doesn't matter about the sag, it's it's fine, I can tighten those. Do we want to bring it over this way a little more though? I think we can. What do you think? And that gives us better coverage there. So all I did was instead of using the center grommets across the ridge line, I went two over on this one, one over on this one, and that protected, that got this stuff that's sticking out over here. It didn't put that stuff up there in the elements and gave us a little bit better coverage. over here so we're good if if this was a long-term situation I would use um, stronger ridge line stronger guy lines I would probably tie off to a tree instead of uh, the spikes in the ground um, honestly if if these don't hold this this area is pretty protected from wind though down here in the in the um, draw like this you see what I mean we the ridge is kind of the the famous ridge of bushcraft ridge is kind of all around us and then we're kind of down so protected now my question is do I tarp the end of this that's sticking out or just say and leave it <laughs> you like my stop right there and keep it from sliding off I think I'll leave it. I'm probably going to be back out here tomorrow. If it rains, I mean, this st stuff is going to be outdoors. It's, it's meant for outdoors. I just don't want it getting wet and drying multiple times when it's not perfectly flat like this. So, all right, well, there we go. Got all my lumber up here. Next step is get our area over here strung out and then I'll probably use those concrete footers to lay out where the holes are gonna be I'm gonna dig some holes use some concrete footers without holes uh, the six by sixes will go in the holes they'll get concreted in uh, yeah I don't know we'll just see how it goes and adjust the plan along the way all right guys questions comments Leave them below, and I'll see you on the ridge.